Hi. I was sitting at Kleiner's uh, the other day and I was handed uh, the Black Sheep of GVSU magazine. There I found a cryptography challenge. I thought, why not? So let me walk you through how to decrypt this text. First of all, as I quickly analyze the text, I can see that spacing is kept. Suggests perhaps the original language spacing. Sometimes these types of challenges will have uh, no space at all, or maybe spaced every five characters, no matter how long the words are. That makes it more difficult. Perhaps it is spelled backwards, um, or it is in another language. But as this suggests, uh, this might be uh, a little bit easier because, again, the letter uh, widths are kept. So, first, we're going to go ahead and navigate to uh, a tool which allows me to preview frequency of letters. Now, in the English language, letter E happens to be the most popular. So, as I analyze frequency of this expression, I could count on one of these uh, occurrences to be letter E. Unfortunately, in a small sample like this one, uh, statistics don't work well. And, uh, in fact, in the clear text solution, there is no letter E. So, this analysis is not the best way to start if uh, our sample is short. Instead, we'll go ahead and switch to uh, the Caesar shift, uh, which happens to be uh, a simple way of encrypt information by moving within the English alphabet letters so many spaces. In the Caesar shift, it would be three letters over. And notice uh, in this tool uh, at Rumpkin.com, I can now switch these automatically, and you can see the display of the solution. So, really, to solve this problem, all I have to do is just continue going down the shift. So, right now, we are shifting eight letters, uh, nine, and so forth, until this becomes readable. And so, we'll go ahead and uh, continue this for a moment. All right, and there it is. At a shift of uh, 20, I see that uh, uh, this looks like Kanye West uh, uh, thoughtful uh, lyric. Uh, and so I can recognize certain words in English. Now, there are automated solutions. Uh, there are Python scripts out there which are going to take uh, our expression and try to uh, match it with English words. Unfortunately, when we are dealing with uh, perhaps urban language, um, slang, that does not work well. So, in this instance, uh, those tools don't work uh, very well. But this is our solution, so we're moving the characters 20 characters over. Here's an example of a tool which does this kind of automated check. And so you can see that the best it could do is uh, match just a few words, and uh, that's due to, to the slang expression. All right, so that's our solution, and uh, I would have hoped that uh, the black sheep got uh, the quote correct, uh, but for the pg needs of this video, uh, that's what it is. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you have a moment, you can preview uh, some of the other videos on the NSA encryption that I have in my playlist. Thanks a lot.